Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and it is a late upload, I'm sorry about that, but I did want to really talk about this, because some really crazy and just strange, just stranger things are happening in this wrestling business. It's so crazy. Every day it seems like something weird and insane that you never thought was going to happen, happened. But I'm going to Ring of Honor in, um, in uh, November 17th. That's 10 days from now. Um, I'm so excited. NXT is doing a show the very same day in the very same city. So it's been, you know, seeing who can top, you know, each other. It's NXT. They're announcing Shawn Michaels' is guest refing a match with Adam Cole and Drew McIntyre for the NXT Championship. Ring of Honor announces they're bringing Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club's invading San Antonio. And then... It's just getting really crazy. It's just, you know, like, all this insane. I'm caught in the middle of it. I had already had Ring of Honor tickets, but I'm caught in the middle of it. I'm like, wow, this is all this awesome wrestling's happening. This city is going to be insane. And uh, just more stuff happened today. So NXT announced that uh, this has nothing to do with San Antonio. But in Houston, Pete Dunne will defend the United Kingdom Championship against Johnny Gargano. That will be an awesome match. But they announced for uh, San Antonio show the day before NXT TakeOver Houston, that Trent Seven and Tyler Bate will verse Pete Dunne and Mandrews, Mark Andrews. So the United Kingdom guys are going to be there. Shawn Michaels is going to be there. They want you to come to that San Antonio show. NXT, they want your tickets, or they want your money to buy tickets. So Ring of Honor, they got to come back, man. They got to freaking start firing away. And I feel like they wouldn't have announced this because Cody Rhodes said, there's two surprises for the San Antonio show. One was Kenny Omega being announced, of course, and two would be a mystery guest. So people were thinking either Neville, Austin Aries. I did think it was going to be Austin Aries. I didn't think Neville. That just seemed kind of stupid. But I did think it was probably going to be Austin Aries. But you never know with the Bull Club. They're always doing wacky stuff. So they, I, I felt like they weren't going to announce this until a later date. But I think since NXT was announcing all this like United Kingdom people and all this great stuff, they were like, let's do it. So Stephen Amell. Yes, the Green Arrow tweets out a picture saying Stephen Amell invades San Antonio for Ring of Honor Wrestling. So yes, the Green Arrow will be at a wrestling show at Ring of Honor. I will be there. It's going to be really weird. It's going to be crazy. And I, I'm just really, really happy about that. I've been kept, I've kept up with the Green Arrow. Um, and I haven't liked, honestly, I haven't liked it as much as I used to. Uh, the first two seasons, I think, were incredible. They were so good. But I think it's kind of died down. But... I've always liked the actor Stephen Amell because I feel like he's a very humble and really kind guy. He's always doing great stuff on Twitter and Facebook, you know, with charities and whatnot. And he just seems like a really nice dude and actually cares about, like, the fans. Usually, like, a, an actor on his own show is going to be kind of a douche. But he's been, he, he seems like he's a really, really nice guy. So, Cody Rhodes, pulling the cat out of the bag. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. And he's getting his friend, Stephen Amell. Cody Rhodes, of course, has been on two episodes, I believe, of Arrow. Maybe more. He's a villain on it, and um, never I ever imagined I would go to a Ring of Honor show and be like, oh yeah, Stephen Amell, he's on the card, whatever. Um, but I'm hoping there's a meet and greet with him. I would really, or I hope, I know there's going to be a Ring of Honor meet and greet, but I hope he, that he's on it, and honestly, I hope he does the Ring of Honor, you know, fees, because if he does his regular, like, Comic-Con fee, Daniel can't afford that, man. I mean, I barely can afford the Ring of Honor fees, but... I hope he's on it. That'd be really cool. I'd love to get a picture with him, Cody Rhodes, the whole gang, the whole being the elite gang. Um, so it's insane. Wrestling's weird. Chris Jericho's fighting at the Tokyo Dome. Stephen Amell's coming at Ring of Honor. I don't know what's happening anymore, but I'm enjoying it. And um, it's going to be an awesome show. I really, really can't wait. I'm just just, just phoning it in school-wise just to get to this uh, date, just to get from 10 days from now so I can finally see Ring of Honor, the elite, Kenny frickin' Omega, Stephen Amell shooting arrows maybe i'll shoot an arrow who knows i'm excited i really can't wait and um yeah nxt and ring of honor they're going to war san antonio november 17th thanks so much for watching let me know what you think about this Stephen amell in ring of honor let me know in the comment section down below this is crazy thanks so much for watching like comment subscribe all the good stuff follow me on twitter at 7 wwe rocks WWE rocks. I say it way too fast. I appreciate all the support and um, I appreciate you watching this video and taking the time out of your day. Thanks so much. Have a great night.